Court can be the most stressful day of your life. And if you have a disability and live in Toronto, it could be more stressful still. The government calls a new billion dollar court building in the city Ontario's most accessible, a claim that experts, including one blind advocate, passionately disagree with. They, well, they did include some accessibility features, but they screwed a lot up. They say the building is a design disaster in many ways, with issues that range from incorrect braille to inaudible elevators. You can barely hear it say second floor and then ground. And routes for the visually impaired that literally go nowhere. That wayfinding path leads me to collide with an accessible electronic kiosk at waist height. Ouch! Some worry that list of issues with the building is a sign of the government's approach to both accessibility and disability more generally. I think that ultimately this is a really great visual and physical example of something that we see across the justice system, which is that disabled people, and in particular, uh, disabled, racialized people are being left behind and left out of conversations. A spokesperson for the Ontario government told Global News the building meets and exceeds accessibility standards and was recently granted gold status. But advocates say the design problems were both avoidable and careless. It could be any mixture of incompetence, not caring. You know, they might have heard the advice and just not cared. And with the Ford government currently spending tens of billions of dollars on new infrastructure, from hospitals to subways, advocates are anxious the lessons are learned quickly to avoid a repeat. Isaac Callan, Global News.